as you guys can see, we're in the truck. We're driving the truck. We're not just standing in the driveway and building. That makes us very happy and very excited. We are making our way down to the Revelstoke area for those of you from British Columbia. Yeah, the truck's performing great. We're kind of cruising at 90 kilometers an hour. Yeah, it's been great. The AC is it's 80, 85 outside right now. The AC is on setting too, and it is very comfortable here. Uh, and that's for somebody that gets really hot very quickly. So it's been great. As you can tell, it's much quieter. We're in fifth gear right now, which is probably switching to sixth. Our little baby boy is taking a nap and enjoying himself. So uh, we'll catch you guys up once we see some beautiful views. So, welcome to our site. We made it to um, our campsite here for tonight. It's beautiful out here. We got beautiful mountains in the background. The nice part about this campsite is it has tons of mountain biking trails right off of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put together my bike and uh, I'm gonna go for a rip. So as I mentioned, the trails are like, there's trails all over this place. And if you know Revelstoke, Revelstoke has some world-class riding. There's a trail right there, like literally five footsteps away from it. So pretty pumped. And we're off. Let's go do some riding. Haven't gone for a while, it's been building. So, finally. Oh, yeah, this the battery died. Well, not died. I never charged it. So, we're gonna play some battle shit. So, like, take all these things apart. F8? No. We got a beautiful sunrise out here. Had a good night's sleep. Today's plan is probably we're gonna move on um, towards the lakes, find a different spot. But this has been great. The sun's coming up. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. We're on to our next big adventure, which I've been always wanting to go all the way up to, it's called Micro Creek. There used to be essentially a village there while the dam was built. So we're heading north from Revelstoke right now. We're gonna camp along Revelstoke Lake and hopefully get to do tons of fishing. Maybe we'll even uh, get to fry one up. We're currently just driving by the dam right now. So I believe that's one of the biggest dams in the interior of BC. And it supplies a lot of cities like Kelowna, Vernon, all that area. This is actually damming the Columbia River. So the fishery used to be amazing, but uh, I'm not sure if a lot of those fish can make it all the way here now. But yeah, we've just passed that. We've climbed a massive hill. We got to go get some water and then uh, head on further north. up some of our water here this thing is flowing super slow this is gonna take forever we didn't quite fill up at home uh, we only put about 34 gallons I think we put in there just because traveling with extra weight why do that we don't really need to fill up here we can just suction out of a stream or something like that but 
it's available, it's free, why not? Probably been here for like 15 minutes and we only got 18 gallons. It's insane. Looks like I pissed myself. And maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Everything good? We got our 20 gallons now. Let's hit the road. Now that we got water, we can finally head to the mountains. Oh yeah, world records, boys. Our speedometer doesn't work. It's funny, it counts the kilometers or the miles correctly, but it does not count the speed whatsoever. It like shows me I'm going 10 miles. That's what we're looking for right there. Here. That's our site. So tonight we're having some big mass crunch for us, making up some meat here, and then we'll put them together. Dinner served. Check out these wraps. Those should be killer. Let's have some dinner. So good. Pickles, red onion. Even he's hungry. So I'm gonna hammer some of these down. Finally time enjoying this build, I guess. Super peaceful. We're at a wreck site right now. We do have tons of neighbors, but not as much as you'd have uh, as a typical provincial site. But yeah, beautiful sites. We got our propane fire pit set up. Since we have a fire ban, we can't have real fires. So propane fire pit is the way to go in BC uh, for most of the summer. But we're just gonna enjoy the night and hang out. Morning, everybody. Woke up here, we had rain. It's roughly 11 o'clock in the morning now but it's been raining pretty much nonstop from like five or six o'clock in the morning. But that creates for beautiful scenery and uh, we're gonna go for a walk and possibly do some fishing. We're gonna take you guys along and we'll uh, see you on our walk. So the walk is uh, very peaceful. It's always like that it seems like after the rain out here in the woods. Even if there is other campers around, it's just dead silent. Everybody's still inside. Going out for a walk at this time is always Really beautiful. Birds are chirping. You just hear the water falling down the trees slowly as it makes its way down. It's just stunning. No fish over there. Oreo's got the zoomies too. It's funny, she keeps running in the moss. She must really like how it feels on her feet or something like that. She typically only gets the zoomies while we're out camping. She doesn't do that at home. So I just biked out here. Um, it's a big bend around here. I'm on a giant bridge, just standing right above the water, probably 150 meters or so. It's pretty high up. Nice bike ride. It's funny, I was riding up and then there were some gravel bikes, obviously not e-bikes, and I just ripped by them. <laughs> this highway is so quiet. Like, I think there was three cars and there's a fourth one coming along now. So it's pretty, uh, pretty secluded. It's like one car every 15, 10 minutes during the day. 
and nothing in the evening or night till early morning. Oh, that feels amazing. Ooh. Nice cold water yeah. after biking a little while. Perfect. So we've got this pump contraption that I made. It's a 120 volt pump. I debated on doing a 12 volt, but I didn't. This end goes into the lake. I didn't put the filter on, the filter cartridge on here because we have some clean lakes. So if you actually have a dirty lake, yeah, you should probably use a filter cartridge here. But this is a um, 50 micron strainer and that should be fine for this lake right here. So let's, let's try this out. Take your pail. Okay. Yeah. So I put a rock in that pail. Plug in. Okay, so I hooked this up the wrong way because I was in a rush at home. So let's hook this up the right way. And does it work? Yeah. You just connect to your, in our case, it will be filters. And you got water. So on tonight's menu, uh, dinner with a view, we got ourselves some nachos. We got ourselves a lake. Can't beat that. Let's dig in. We have one. So we're back on the road this morning. Our wreck site out there was absolutely phenomenal. But it's time to keep heading north, see these massive glaciers, and see the next lake up. So essentially, what this is, is banned without all the people. There's nothing up there. That's, that's probably why nobody comes out here. There's no amenities out here. Let's go check this site out. Hopefully it's nice. So it is a nice site, but we might just go down the road a little further and see if we find something a little better. We'd have to level out the truck a significant amount. And also getting down here gets pretty tight. But uh, yeah, if anything, we'll turn back around and we can always park up here. So I forgot my casting rod and I rigged up my fly rod to be a casting rod. Actually. And uh, we got a rainbow on, I believe it's a rainbow. Quite powerful.
I just lost them. Oh no. Well, I guess you gotta try again. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of amazing how these ants move something so big by themselves. Think about the motivation. Like, it's either you live or you die for them. There's no grocery store. <laughs> kind of wild. Well, I guess since I ain't no fisherman, I guess I'll make some burgers. So let's get to making burgers. Not a bad place to have uh, some awesome burgers. Huge peaks up there. Gorgeous river. This is the Columbia, the damned Columbia, I guess. Getting dark out already, but yeah. Just can't get enough of this. Like, like if you can see back there, which you can't. Let's see if we can. So we have beautiful mountain peaks with glaciers on them. Fish are jumping out. I'm kind of bummed that I uh, didn't catch one, but, well I did, but I lost it. Anyways, let's get uh, dinner made. Pretty good burger, I'd say. Got a loon out there coming to check us out. Definitely not a bad day. Um, we have the sunset to go along with it as well. We're pretty uh, hooped already and uh, I think we're just gonna go to bed, maybe leave the window open. You can hear the fish jumping here and there. We'll have plenty of time to maybe catch and cook one as well. So we'll catch you guys up the next day. So we're wrapping up our first weeks of adventure out here. We really are stunned and amazed by all the views and everything that we've been able to see and do out here. If you guys like this kind of content, like, share, subscribe, of course. And uh, we'll see you guys on next week's adventure, which will start right here.